Hello and welcome to another example video. This is a past year question and it's quite an interesting one because we are going to look at how the sensing devices are used in conjunction or together with a potential divider circuit to measure the volume of fuel in a fuel tank. So you've probably seen this uh, drawing before, you know, the one with the empty and the full tank. And if you drive, sometimes you cut it a bit close by allowing your needle to be here. Eh? <laughs> okay, so the position of the needle or the indicator will actually show you how uh, full or empty the tank is. Of course, E here would be empty and F here, F here will be full. Okay, so depending on whether it's empty or full, the needle will deflect. But what causes the needle to deflect? Well, this needle is a bit connected it's a it works a bit like an analog voltmeter okay it's just that instead of having a voltage readings on the scale we put we make it seem like it's a petrol tank lah okay so let's read the question the volume of fuel in a fuel tank is monitored using a sensing device all right so what sensing device we use think about it what sensing device can we use and this device will give a voltage output when it's measured using a voltmeter. Okay, the variation of the voltmeter reading and the volume of the fuel tank is shown in figure 9.1, which is the graph given. All right, so you may be wondering, how does the circuit look like? Well, although it's not that important in answering this question, I will still draw a rough circuit for you. Uh, it probably consists of, was, let's say, a regulating resistor. Okay, and another sensing device, but I don't know what sensing device this is uh, because there are few ways for us to determine the volume of a particular uh, tank. La. They could use, they could put a pressure, a piezoelectric transistor or a metal wire strain gauge uh, either at the bottom, the base of the tank to sense the pressure. Okay, so I don't really know. And it doesn't really matter because I cannot I cannot really analyze. I don't even know where the ground is and where the high potential is. But roughly speaking, it will look like your good old uh, device this way. And where the voltmeter connected, also don't know. But it should look something like this or any variation of connection. Nah, you have another resistor huh? R here. Maybe this resistor can change. Or maybe not. Okay. So... What matters here is this sensing device will have different different resistance which will change the voltmeter. Okay? So when the volume, so just I just write here so that you can bring in the question. When the volume of fuel changes, okay? The resistance of the sensing device changes. Changes how are uh, increase decrease? I don't know in insufficient information. But I do know that, and I also don't even know whether the voltmeter is connected uh, across the sensing device. Who knows? Maybe there's, maybe it could be this voltmeter there. You don't know ma, where the voltmeter is. So not sure the circuit. But this will cause the variation. So this will cause a variation of voltmeter reading. And the voltmeter reading is actually this one. This entire deflection is the voltmeter reading. Okay, so you kind of get the kind of a uh, sigmoid curve, the kind of curve shape. All right, interesting, interesting. One thing to note here is that the voltmeter reading doesn't change linearly with the volume. So this means the resistance also doesn't change linearly with the volume. Okay, so that's what we can gather from this question. So will you ask to be drawn, you will you ask to draw a circuit? If they want you to draw this circuit or analyze the circuit, they need to give you more information. Right now, I don't even know whether the voltmeter is connected here or connected here because I don't know how the resistance of the sensing device changes with volume of the fuel. What also don't know? Insufficient information. But we do know that when at different volume, the sensing device resistance will change, causing the voltmeter reading either this one or this one to change, lah, depending on which one is bigger, R and this one. And of course, this we will have to connect to a power supply, lah, right? I don't know, maybe 9 volt? Any power supply? Okay, so use figure 9.1 to determine the range of volume over which the volume has a linear relationship with the voltmeter reading. So when we say linear, what do we mean? Uh? 
we mean that this linear relationship have to be a straight line. So let's look at the graph and figure out where is the straight line. Where in this graph is the straight line? I'm going to zoom in a bit. Okay. So the straight line is, uh, I think if you want to, the best root tool you can use is actually a ruler in the exam. You put your ruler there and see where the straight line is. Now. So I'm thinking the straight line. Okay, let me try to draw a straight line here and see if it works. Okay, I know my straight line is kind of <laughs> kind of thick. I will make it thinner later. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to align it to the graph. Okay. So you should put an air, put an arrow, blah, put a ruler there on your own paper and try to see at which point does this straight line no longer falls on the curve. Okay, I'm going to use the thinnest option possible and check my line. Okay, this line is a little bit out. So I'm going to adjust a bit. There we go. Okay, maybe you cannot see. Hang on. Let's put this one. Ah, uh, okay lah, good enough. Okay, so you can tell, right, when the curve leaves the line, it's somewhere... Actually, because this blue line is kind of thick lah. So it'd be better if you draw a thinner line. Okay, then you can see where the curve begins to leave the line. Okay, there we go. So I think it leaves the line somewhere either here or here. Okay, so I'm going to say it's here lah. It's really up to you. This value here is 28 liter. Okay, and I think it kind of leaves the line maybe here. 28 to... Is it 60? I think it starts curving here. Leh. Think about it. Let me check my line. So this one is... Uh, Miss, would they give a range? Ah? They will, lah, but you also should try your best to draw a proper line. Lo. Okay, which you can tell it's not very proper because I'm just using computer. Okay, so I think the point where the curve leaves the line is somewhere here. Okay. So I zoom in already. You also do the same. Lah. So this one looks a bit like 56. Okay. So I will say from 28 to 56, where the graph is still a straight line, this is where it is still linear. All right. So I'm going to fill it in for you now. This will be from 28 liter to 56 liter. Okay. Uh, do you need to write decimal point? No, because one box is two liter. Mah. Right. Uh, another point here is that if you want to know what the mark scheme says, mark scheme will allow 30 to 56 liter plus minus 4 liter. So our answer is within range. As long as you draw a reasonably straight line, your answer should also be within range. Okay, use a ruler to help you. All right, part B. Suggest why when comparing figures from figure 9.1, so... They say use values. Uh. So you have to state values from the graph. You have to take coordinates or values or numbers from the graph. You cannot just use gradient. All right. So when the tank is nearly full, okay, nearly full, the voltmeter reading gives the impression that the fuel consumption is low. What does fuel consumption low mean? Uh? You, you know, right, the, when you think about fuel consumption low means you can use a lot of petrol. You can use, sorry, you can use the petrol for a long time. So this means the decrease in volume appears slow. But is the decrease in volume really slow? Well, actually, not really, lah, because we don't really actually pour out all the petrol in the measuring cylinder and really, really measure the petrol. What do we do? We actually uh, use the voltmeter to do the job for us, right? The, the sensing circuit. So what this implies is actually that the voltmeter reading will change slowly. Hmm. Let's go back to the graph. Does the voltmeter reading change slowly when the fuel tank is almost full? So when it's full, uh, it's kind of like, you know, let's look at the, 
the first 10 liters from 70 to 80 liter here. So you can see here, let me zoom in a bit. This part all, this part, this part. This part is when the tank is almost full. So I'm going to put here, full tank. Okay, so when we travel, let's say five boxes, let's say your petrol, you use 10 liter. Huh? You use 10 liter petrol, negative 10. This one huh? only drop one box. Leh. The voltmeter reading only, the, it's not even one box, guys. It's half a box. The voltmeter reading only decrease half a box. Hiya. So this one, huh? okay, you can... Where do I write? I write here. From here, you can see this section here. Voltmeter reading decreased by half a box, 0 0.1 volt. Ayo. That means it seems like you use a lot. Ah. But let's compare to what if we are, let's say, at the halfway mark, at the 40 liter. At 40 liter, let's say you go from 50 to 40 liter. 50 is here. So if you move from 50 to 40 liter from here to here, okay, now let's say here to here, you still minus 10 liter. But look, look, your potential here dropped by how much? Wow, definitely more than one box, right? Okay, so you just need to, I mean, I guess if you want to, you can, we can compare, lah, right? So this one at 40 looks roughly like 2.4. Yeah, 2.4. And at 50, this one roughly looks like 3.4. Wow, this one minus 1.0 volt. Quite big leh, when you think about it. You're comparing 0 0.1 volt decrease for the first 10 liters to 0 0.1 volt decrease for the, <laughs> the, the 10 liters from 50 to 40. Okay, so we'll write that down. We'll start with the full tank first. Okay, so we can say when the tank is near, I'm just going to copy here. When tank is nearly full, okay, the change, okay, excuse this for, okay, I apologize for the notification disturbance. Anyway, back to the point. When the tank is nearly full, the change in voltmeter reading, which will affect the angle of deflection, okay, for 10 liter of petrol or fuel consumption, is only a 0 0.1 volt decrease okay so the change in voltmeter right here the change in voltmeter reading is only a 0 0.1 volt decrease when the tank is nearly full okay so we also need to compare okay so this one you can say when compared to 40 liters so i'm just going to write out all the evidence okay when Compared to 40 liter, wait, 50 liter to 40 liter. Where the change in voltmeter reading is only one. No, it's only. Why do I use only? It's 1.0 volt. So double. Okay. So this comparison one, I tend to put it in because when you say more or less, uh, we need a reference point. Uh, but it's not necessary according to the mark scheme. But you need to mention also above 60 liter. Okay. The gradient of the graph here. There, this gradient of the graph or is less steep than at 40 liters. Okay, so also above 60 liter, the 
gradient is small compared to about 40 liter or at 40 liter all right so each green point is one mark one mark here one mark here so use the graph to actually decide what will happen like for example in this part of the graph or oh, your gradient decrease very slow so your voltmeter reading will drop very slow one so there'll be one mark oh. and then you need to give values like for example when you decrease 10 liter your voltmeter reading only go down half a box so small when compared to 40 liter it's always compared to 40 liter or somewhere in the middle lah. all right so that's the first point so when you explain this one always uh try to use the graph and take evidence from graph so provide evidence no evidence no talk you know all right let's look at part two now when the voltmeter first indicates that the tank is nearly empty okay tank is nearly empty there is more fuel wow oh, good thing got more fuel lah. if not they say tank nearly empty but then no fuel lah. then gg oh, you stranded now okay so again asking you to provide evidence from the graph so let's look at where the tank is nearly empty yeah maybe the last 10 liter okay so the last 10 liter here also suffer or encounter the similar fate as the first 10 liter this voltmeter reading oh, hiyo, it drops so slow okay but this is a good news because when your needle is so close to zero uh -huh, this needle when it's so close to zero uh, this needle so close to zero your your brain will panic oh we need to fill in now we need to fill in now so maybe uh, we install the output device as a led a red led that light up to tell you to refill the tank so maybe you set your red led at uh, 0.5 volt because you are thinking okay full tank is 5 volt 10% is 0.5 volt. So 10% is where I want the fuel tank to turn on. It's my LED to turn on. So I'm just going to write here. Maybe you are thinking, okay, at 0.5 volt. Do, 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 do. So you're thinking, okay, now is the time to turn on because you think only got 10% of fuel left. Okay, because this is 10% of the total voltage. Ma. So you're like, okay, I would like to know when my fuel tank is 10% and I want to refill. But actually, is it really 10%? Because if you go here, Wow, you have almost 20 there. You got 17 liter, which is uh, way more than 8 liter. 17 is twice of 8. Okay, so this is one example. And the other example, you will notice that the final 10 liter is like a pitiful 0 0.1 volt, but you still have 10 liter left. So it's pretty good. So you could say that number one. And also you see here, this part, oh, the reading look like zero now, this part here. But actually you still got petrol, ah. You still got four liter. Can drive to the nearest petrol station and quickly pump. This is for people. This is good. Okay. This one not so much, but this is very useful. Okay. So we're gonna say that, for example, when the reading is nearly zero, okay, the fuel tank still have fuel left, although the reading is almost zero. Okay. So I'm gonna write that down. That's the easiest one to say. Let's say from the graph or from the figure. From the figure when the voltmeter reading is close to zero close to zero or almost zero there is still few left mm. and what's the second evidence okay you can say that even when the voltmeter reading is 0 0.1, it's only 0 0.1 volt. There is still 10 liters of fuel left. Okay, you could also use the evidence that I stated just now. That one will be slightly harder to write. You could say when, when the voltmeter reading decreases to 10% is initial value 
or its maximum value, initial, not initial, uh, maximum value. And maybe you, you tell your op amp to turn on. Okay, tell what op amp? Uh, ah, this one you wait until the next video. And then you tell the LED to turn on. How to tell the LED to turn on? This one you need to stay tuned to the operational amplifier video. Okay, so when the voltmeter reading decreases to 10% to its maximum value, which is 0 0.5 volt, right, we, we can actually, I can say that there is still more than 10%, uh, 17 liters of fuel left, either 17 or 18 liters, uh, which is uh, greater than 10%, I guess, if you want, we can calculate 17 divided by 80 is which is about 21, 22%, which is 21% of the maximum fuel. Okay. So this two point is good enough to get you one mark each. Okay. If you want to substantiate your reading, you can say, you see, when this one is at the, this one all drop until only 10% left, or the petrol still got 20% left. So nice. So good. All right. So the second evidence, the first evidence that's easiest to see, sorry, would be when it's empty, your voltmeter reading zero, but you still have a lot of petrol, at least uh, four to six liters, number one. Number two, you can say that even the last decrease of 10 liter, or when you only have 10 liter left, or you have 10 liter left, you still got 0 0.1 volt. 0 0.1 volt seems very small, but actually you still have 10 liter of fuel. So the reading, or drop to 0 0.1 but you still have 10 liter so much petrol you see you see wow so much one eight very good 12.5 percent you went and stare at this thing uh. where is 12.1 12.5 percent is somewhere here so here is where you should feel uh, i guess everyone is different i have friends who halfway well immediately want to feel yeah. <laughs> okay so of course you could also say when the voltmeter reading decreased to 10 percent the fuel reading only decreased to 20%. All right, but that one will need you to do a bit of calculation. So th those are all the uh, evidence that we can gather from this question. All right, so if you find this video useful, okay, please try more questions regarding sensing device, especially those with non-linear changes. Learn to read the calibration curve. Okay, and this skill is very important together with the potential divider to help you understand the next parts of operational amplifier where we connect this to operational amplifier to turn on an LED light to tell us, hello boss, fuel tank empty, please go and pump. Okay, so that's it for this question. Uh, if you find this helpful again, share, like, subscribe, watch more videos. Okay, I wish you all the best in your A2 and I'll see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.